Hello garden friends and welcome back to my small garden. Planting some fall bulbs today. These hyacinths I'm going to put over there in my delphinium garden. I really enjoyed this garden bed this year. It was gorgeous. All the bachelor buttons and you can see that the Russian sage is just starting to come into its own there. So next year it should be quite stunning. Very excited. I'm doing a repeat on this next year. It's gorgeous. That salvia there is gorgeous as well. Big bright pink burst in the spring. So here's the delphinium garden. Now this is new because I just started this one last fall. I put in a whole bunch of daffodils, at least two varieties that I remember, all in here. Followed by the delphinium I started from seed this spring, which was lovely next year, much more. And then I surrounded the whole thing in nigella love and a mist. So hopefully that'll seed freely and be gorgeous, but I will start more just in case. I did up the veggie beds. Normally have been tarping them for the winter and then tilling them in the spring, but I've got a pretty good soil structure now, you know, not just that sand and clay. So uh, this year I tilled it thoroughly, mulched everything all in there, and then covered it with the oat straw. So hoping for really good results on that this year. Let's get these hyacinths planted. Yeah, I'm gonna put some of these daffodils in here. This is kind of the roadside garden. I'm only putting a few because with the tree roots here and these giant trees, it's kind of hard to get in there with the drill. So I just started this one pretty much this year anyway. I've got a bunch of foxglove and all kinds of stuff in here in this end. And I know I put some daffs on that side, but I did not continue down here. The only thing I've put in here so far is this beautiful hosta that I split to into three. That'll be gorgeous next year. So in relation to where we are, my front yard, so my kitchen window here, and I'm sitting having my coffee there. I'll be able to look out and see this beautiful burst of yellow in the food forest. Gorgeous. Let's plant them. I am going to put some here as well on Blueberry Hill. Looks like it's almost time to harvest all this seed off the creeping thyme. I can scatter it around. I love it, but it's a little taller because so it's hiding my really pretty steps. But you know what? Better than grass. So anyway, so I've got a little area here that I prepared in the spring. So I'm going to go ahead and put some daffodils in there as well. Now for those gorgeous tulips. So I'm going to put these in the alcove garden. With the hydrangea. Beautiful. So, oh, they're so pretty. I went ahead and I did 15 holes. Can you see that okay? All the way down in this part of the alcove. This garden was pretty heavy on a lot of pinks and stuff this year. I think I'm going to go a lot of red in this area next year. I always 
fun how it evolves and changes every year. Oh, I do love my garden. Guess I'm spending the rest of the day working on the weeds. Gotta get things put together this fall for less work next spring. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Now get growing. <laughs>